All right, we should be live. Let's go ahead and start the gameplay. Not the Hellblade. Send you a sacrifice. This game is so freaking awesome. It really is. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun getting back into it. Oh, the comfy headset all adjusted and good to go. All right. Should have good audio, good video for your stream. Oh, there's one controller. What? Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Come on, wire. Yeah, there's a wire so involved. It's disappointing. All right. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness. So well, here we are, back at the bridge. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. So beautiful. There is nothing else left. There's nothing anything to begin with. Nothing. Oh, door. Come on, push on. You open into darkness. Brings another chair. Oh, hi, big guy. Out of nowhere with that. Cook. 
<laughs> oh, not fair. I'm not getting a move. Come on. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll whip your ass. It's, I gotta get up first. Not to call the game to let me up. Bring it, come on! Rah! Yeah, bring it! Is that it? Yeah. Fucking punks. It's kind of magic going on here. I can see things, but they're they're translucent. Interesting. Very well. Looks like it's locked from the other side. Fish Fish sex. Gotcha. I, I think I can find fish sex. The journey to hell the ocean, right? a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets. Stuff. You will find yours. Let's see what's up. Oh, look. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess.
Now there are stairs here. The S is nearby. Where? Hmm. I wonder where the S could be. It's nearby here somewhere, huh? And the an X. X looks like it's probably just that thing at the right angle, right? Come on, that's definitely an ass. Uh, fish and an X. I see nothing here. I don't know if that's yeah, it's walkable, so we're going this way to see where it leads. I guess it's depending on which way I'm looking. Whoa. I see nothing. There's nothing here, senor. Why would they make it where you walk along the wall there, but then put nothing here? That is so odd. Was quite, quite severe. Yeah, I know where this is. They did say the other side of that door, right? Yep. See if I can unlock it and get this stone while I'm here. Why is it not unlocking it? large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gits. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. I just need the X. Which will be down there in the first floor in that corner, I'm guessing, right? Once you get. Thank <laughs> you. 
fish sex complete. Aw, yeah, you dirty, naughty fish. Ruining all that ocean water. See nothing but more bridge, storm. It's quite battered. The gate is opening. I don't care. Let's go. It's coming. That song again. Yes, the source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. I'm sorry. Pick your sword up! What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior, you're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Fight it. Get up. Get up. That's right. Get up. Get up and fight. Oh, it broke my sword. I hit that bitch in the face. Shit. Went out like a baller. That's, what, that's how you do it, at least. Shit, if you're going out. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears. As seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming? Even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Well, then we'd all be pretty is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. The warrior. Worthless, weak, pathetic. Go on, feel sorry for yourself because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just do like it. your sword. Come on. Cauterize the wound. That's some Rambo shit there, like a real soldier. Ooh, it's dark. Oh God, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song.
Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. cave and then up the ramp is the correct way to go. I'm betting there's a room thing over here in this cave then. swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. It does not ask you to swim against it. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in yours. 
Oh, yeah, there I see it. There he was. Where is he? The lone figure of a boy. He's dead. Just a tree. Sword under the shade of a tree. So far away. Last time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. <coughs> ah, bless me. And the world danced with him. Jeez, that was. Out of nowhere. Thanks a lot, human body. She's so worthless. A ray of hope. You have to keep Dilly and Gummy. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sig. His father's hall was built around a great tree. And one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Find a new sword so I can defend myself. Got these scrawny girl arms be enough to fight off some of them big dudes with a shield or anything, you know? Sigmund and his brother seem certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens.
currently making sure I'm not missing any of these stones in this area because I mean such a complex shipwreck area it would be very easy to miss one and that's one of the reasons I'm replaying this is because I want to hear all those and get that achievement so yeah Should be three more after the next one that I miss. So X and then three more. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. Graham. I'm still on my way to Helheim, guys. I'm just taking a little decor here. Got to see my dead boyfriend, you know, get me a new sword. Oh, look at the pretty wildflowers. You can't even fight. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly court the wild and bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... Watched me? Watching me? <laughs> Weird. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. That her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. 
So anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Yeah, you tell him. Back to the gameplay. Can you see him? You want to believe it? Is, is he there? not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. You won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign of tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. Ah, I see. It looks like this may go on for an extra day, too, because it looks like, what, three different areas here, if I remember correctly? As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister, plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. What's happening? 
Senua and Magi, a sword that can slay gods. <laughs> Sword's just a tool. Sneum is Gramra. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal rune stone. The runes. You need that sword. Go to the shard. Find the shards. We shall go in order as we came across them in the first place. And that means you are the first. that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you see me? Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. Don't hear it. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I hear it in front of me. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. So, this way. I kind of see something coming into focus. The others. The voices. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Come somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. 
Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? Water. Babbling water. I hear water. Go to it. behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shenor. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind. Not the soul. You're no coward. Prove that to me in the warrior trial. This is just another battle. You can beat him. This isn't so bad. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid.
not following me. Leave it behind. Keep moving forward. I'm on my way out. There's still the dark area. Building new structure of some kind. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control. It's kind of cheating. It's like you can see the walls a little bit. I just follow them. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. <laughs> like. Tell you. Help me. Oh, 
home. It just faded away, though. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. Yeah. You and me both, sister. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. A little hope. First stone complete. Next stone, let's go. tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second Baldur. son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. It's often what compassion gets you. Oh my. I'm coming, ghost boy. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Fucking Loki, man! You can. 
You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said he'd fight. He... he's close. He's close. He loves you. once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian told her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Not in this to the building.
There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do this. You're nearly there. She can find the way. You're cursed. Nobody will love you. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Hud, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Hud says, I cannot see where Balder stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Balder. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Balder is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The North say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happened. Have no time for this. Speed. 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 Speed.
The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Yep. Dillian's in the tower. He's there. Everything has broken. You killed him with your love because he believed in you. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. Oh, I... The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Where is it? Where is it? I need a break for a second before messaging me stuff. Let's see what the fuck is going on. Oh my god. Uh. I guess he's going to message me back and say, oh, my bad. Jeez. Oh, 
you know what? Actually, that's a good chance to get a glass of water, too. I'll be right back, people. <sighs> this game's awesome. I gotta figure out where that up sign is, so I don't remember that one at all. Okay, huh. Back to Hellblade. I could have sworn it was like them laugh. the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Yes. Yes. Go to Sit. Quicker. quicker. Tell me to go quicker. It's wet. It's raining out here. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. 
My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world? You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you paid for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Fuck it, Sean. Complete. You did it, but there's more. Yes, what? Two more, I believe? There's more. There's this one, and then one more over there. The last. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. You're with it. One more there. One there. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. That sounds awful. Where are we? I don't like it. What is this place? It's creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Down the road. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Uh, there he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Where's it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to solve it. <laughs> and you will find it. <laughs> it's a test. <laughs> like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. Soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing, and they knew it's that she was not like that. Fix it. You have to fix it. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house until now. You have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house. Up the tower.
Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. Genoa, come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you want. Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. The runes. There was a Northman called Grettir. Big, red-haired, immensely strong. But he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every eye. Stuck on the edge of the thing there, not.
okay. Well, next time don't get stuck on that little piece of wood there and run for 10 seconds while it catches up to you. Fucking dumb. Come on. Oh my fucking God, really? <laughs> Driving me crazy. Lock that as you come in. Lock that. My bad. Guess I heard you that way, huh? Oh. Taking a break, guys. I'll be back shortly. Remember, remember the other day? Oh, I can hear everything you say on the internet right now. Hold on a second.